In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to use Discord's new Go Live feature for streaming yourself, as well as finding your friend's streams on Discord. Hey guys, it's Joel here from Make Tech Easier. Have you ever wanted to stream a game to your friends? but you didn't want to use a service like Twitch where anyone can hop in, you may have already discovered and used Discord's screen share feature for this very reason, but you no longer have to. Discord has recently implemented the Go Live feature, which allows users to stream their games directly to their friends. First, make sure you're on a PC running Windows 8 or higher. The Go Live feature currently doesn't support computers running Windows 7 or below. To use Go Live, play a game that Discord recognizes. You can tell if Discord can see the game if your status message changes to now playing, followed by the game title when you play it. If you don't see this status and Discord can't recognize your game, you won't be able to stream. If you boot up a game Discord recognizes, you'll notice a small window appear above your status bar. Click the small screen icon to the right on this new window to go live. A window will pop up asking you which voice channel you want to cast to. Unfortunately, you can't cast a game without being in a voice channel, as this channel acts as both the way you communicate to your viewers and the channel others use to watch. If you don't want to broadcast your voice as you stream, be sure to click the microphone icon on your status bar to mute yourself before you start. Once you select a voice channel, you'll automatically join it. Now, anyone who joins your voice channel will see your stream as you play. If you're not keen on streaming but want to know when others are streaming, there are ways to tell. Hopefully, the person who started the stream will let everyone know that it's starting. When that happens, join the voice channel they're in. Click on the user with the live text next to their name to start the show. And if they don't announce the stream, you can still tell if they're broadcasting by looking at their status message. Look at their username in the user list. If their status message says streaming and then a game title, you can watch along by joining their voice channel. Now at the moment, unfortunately, there's no way to open a friend's chat and stream to them through the direct message channel. If you try, the go live button turns gray and it'll tell you to visit a server instead. Hopefully Discord will add this fantastic streaming feature to friends and DM groups, as it'll be a nice way to provide a private stream to people who don't want to share a server with you. Streaming games can be fun with friends, but it's tricky to do so without using a web service where strangers can just jump in. Using Discord, you can stream to server members and let them watch along without the risk of random people spoiling the fun. So, will you go live on Twitch still? Or does this new feature on Discord sound that much better to you? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech-savvy videos. See you next time.